Greetings, Sean here, Mostly Metal. It's a beautiful Friday afternoon. The sun is fucking out, finally. Snow is melting. And we're going to talk about cold, dirty, dark black metal. And a little bit of death metal, too. Um, first up in the background, we have Omni Kinetic with Submerged. Uh, this is a demo. I'm quite surprised it's a demo because it's actually uh, very good. I'll probably talk more about it in another video. Not much to it. Um, out on uh, Witch Hand Productions. Uh, very submerged is an excellent title for this. Uh, you feel like you are being submerged and suffocated while listening to it. Um, some of that incantation, cavernous, um, suffocating feeling, but a lot more, um, some more experimental elements, um, feelings of drowning, uh, for, for lack of a better term there, I think if I'm looking at the cover right, it might look like a skull is, was just dropped in water there and it's falling on, it's hard to tell, but, um, lots of experimental pieces to this that add some atmosphere to, um, that, that incantation style, which for me, incantation are a great band, but after a, a little bit, I don't feel like I really get a break. Um, and these guys have some nice um, riffs that are that change the tempos of the songs. There's some little instrumental noise interludes throughout the bits and pieces of the songs. The vocals, if you can hear that, we turn up a little bit. It sounds like a a lion that's been caged for years and is finally getting out and fucking attacking um, its trainers. So, um, but enough about that one. Um, some of these I've talked about previously, so I'm just going to fly over them really quick. Um, but first up, we're going to talk about Molder, a uh, band I talked about out of uh, Illinois that was in the background of one uh, video I had. Um, this is their, I think their first full length that came out last year. Um, good stuff. If you like death metal, straight to the point, they do a Serenade and Lead um, uh, Ace Fix cover. Solid job on that. Um, another album that I went ape shit over. I, I'm not sure others have the same sentiment. Um, I've, I've watched some other reviews on this one, but the new Roads of Everast, I've already talked ad nauseum about it. I did a whole video on it. Um, I've listened to it some more since then. I can see why some people may not like this as much as the earlier material terror material um if you remember my video i did say i was going to go back and listen to the earlier stuff um if you're a fan of that earlier stuff um i, I enjoy that as well but um this does not sound much like their uh, earlier stuff but if you want to hear the earlier stuff just go listen to the earlier stuff um i'm not sure why earlier is such a hard word to pronounce but this is still at the top of my list uh, for 2021 so far. I, I can't get enough of um, this album. A lot of people don't like the the doom, the kind of gothy um, vocal style um, that's presented here, but um, I, I tend to actually like it, and it's a nice switch from a band like Omni Kinetic that you're hearing um, right now. Um, this next one was a random... I think a random band camp find for me on Repose Records. Um, this one's called uh, Ruins of Humanity, and this is a split, a cassette split, mind you, uh, that has four bands on it. Um, side A's got Hajduk, Hajduk, um, Akantha, and Side B has Nimbifer and Sorgalik. Um, I was not familiar with, I think the only band I was familiar with was um, Nimbifer uh, on this one, on Repos Records, um, because they put out, if I remember correctly, last year, or, yeah, Demo 1 and Demo 2 was a comp that came out uh, last year. Demo 1 came out in 2019, and Demo 2 came out in 2020. They did a release, a uh, combo release of the two. I missed out on the release, um, but... He has two songs on here um, that are probably the best of the bunch, but this is just straight uh, quality. Um, black metal, each song clocks in at around 10 minutes, so you get 20 minutes on one side and about 30-ish minutes on the other side. Um, not much to show on the inside, to be honest. On the, in the cassette, I know sometimes I show the inside. 
uh, the innards, as I like to call it, not much to, to show there. Um, a lot of the text is way too small to read. Um, I believe there's also a CD version of this out, but it is um, a lot of tremolo picked, anthemic ish um, black metal. The number for songs are uh, a little shorter than the others, so a little easier to consume for those of you that um, don't like to spend a lot of time with your with your music. Um, this is not a, a pick it up and listen to it for five minutes and, and toss it away. I listened to this for for about oh probably listened to it four times all the way through on both sides. Um, it's just uh, it's good. Uh, I wasn't expecting. I was kind of hesitant when it, whenever there's a four way split with four bands. You're kind of like oh, there's going to be two bands that are probably good. One that's mediocre and one that you don't even know why the fuck. They're on the release. The other thing I liked is uh, a lot of times with these releases, all the bands have different production qualities, so the split feels very disjointed. Um, did not feel that way with this one. All the song productions were were very similar, um, very fluid, sounded really great. Um, Repos also sent me some free download codes for a band called Rain. I haven't checked them out yet. Um, tons of cool little postcards. I always like to show these. Um, just because I think they're cool um, that they send these kinds of things. These are bands I'll go check out. Smart marketing that I don't know why other labels don't do. Just pack a pack a envelope filled with stuff um, that you're gonna send out and, and make me feel like I'm getting a Christmas present. I guess it's it's fun to dig through. Um, next up here, we're gonna talk about um, a band that apparently has been around for a long time. And I've heard the name, probably one of the best names in metal, if I dare say so. Um, we're going to talk about some Goat Penis. Um, this is a band that, I think this is their, se was it their seventh full length, eighth full length? This is Decapitation Philosophy. Um, this is my first dive into Goat Penis. This came out last year on Nuclear War Now. Um, they recently had one of their founding members, um, Sabbath, uh, vocals and bass guitar, uh, passed away, I believe, from a heart attack. So rest in, rest in power to him. Um, there's lyrics in here I couldn't read, but um, still I was, uh, this, I was a random, I think I got a random email from Nuclear War Now about him passing away. And Goat Penis is a great band name, and I had heard of him before, and I finally, unfortunately, um, when he passed away, I, I dug in, and this is the first release. If there are other releases sound like this, I will be a, a, a fan, uh, for sure. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's hard for me to describe um, them, because they've been around from the 90s, and I don't know what the early stuff sounded like. Uh, for me, it was kind of like, a, there's a lot of... Um, the vocals have kind of like a little bit of reverb, um, and they do a lot of that, ooh, like uh, Celtic Frost. Um, there's blast beats, there's mispaced, mispaced, mid-paced metal. Um, the solid songs are great. They're, they're about three to four minutes long, which is just about perfect. Um, they remind me of um, kind of like Beastia Warlust, and um, I made a couple notes. I, I to me, they sounded. I could see where a band like Revenge probably got their influence um, from a band like Goat Penis. So, if you've not heard Goat Penis, um, I know some people may think the name of the band's goofy, but I think it's great. So, um, I will link them below. Check them out. And again, I got a bunch of um, cool cards. Beharit. Um, we've got uh, Caligari Records. Um, that's another cool thing that Nuclear War now has all gets all these cards. Um, if they do distro for bands and whatnot or labels, they'll they'll create these cool cards, which is Hammer. I talked about that one already. So it's just kind of cool that they um, they send these kinds of cards. It's a way for me to um, check out other bands. Uh, I know I could easily do it on the internet, but this kind of puts it at the forefront uh, for me. Um, next up, uh, what do I want to talk about next? This is a band, I'll talk about, eh, we'll talk about, yeah, we'll talk about it now. Um, this one I found from Brain Smasher, a band over Brain Smasher. Uh, usually when he hypes uh, something, I pay close attention. 
Um, not all the time. I know he's big into like dungeon synth and stuff. I've I've tried to get into dungeon synth um, based on his recommendation and, and some others, and I just even in the background it just doesn't do anything um, for me. I have been diving into jazz recently, and that that suits itself for me a little bit better in the in the background. Um, but this is, and I may mispronounce this wrong, um, Molde Volhal. Um, this is his first album, Into the Cave of Ordeals. Um, this is fantastic. I, again, heard about it from um, Ben Smasher. Don't let the cheesy cover fool you. If I saw this in a record store or something, a guy in a with his guitar in a cave or a cavern, um, I would say this is probably something that's going to end up in the dollar bin at some point. Couldn't be further from the truth, so further proof, don't ever judge uh, a book by its cover. This is the uh, cassette. I uh, can't remember which label decided to put this out because he didn't have it linked on his band camp. I'll link it below because um, he is technically listed as an unsigned or independent artist. Um, so I had to do some digging to find the physical release of this. Great, great melodic uh, black metal to me harkens back to the 90s um, when Immortal was really great. Um, they still are, but um, that earlier Immortal, that tremolo picking, that catchy riffs that you are just going to sing all day long. Um, there's not a bad song on this one. Um, so again, don't let the don't let the cheesy um, cover fool you. Uh, it is funny. Uh, and I'm not trying to knock the guy, but um, again, if you saw this in the store, you would be like, yeah, that's just some guy wanking on his guitar. It's not going to be any good. It's fantastic. Um, probably, if this came out, this came out 2020, this is just an EP. Um, if he puts out the full length in whenever that is 2021 2022 uh, folks are going to be talking about this guy so keep your eyes peeled for um, this release fantastic or this artist by the way um, next up we are going to talk about a band that i'm rather new to um, this is Forever Curse by Sulfuric Night. I've heard other people talk about them. This is their first full length, I believe, that came out in 20, 2019, maybe 2020. Um, and again, not much to show on the inside. A lot of black and white, um, black metal. You can guess by the, the cassette cover and um, the way the, the font is, um, what it's all about. On um, Altari Productions, um, is the distribution. These guys are part of what I hear is referred to as the Black Plague Circle, um, which are, uh, it seems to be a, a group of bands that are all one member black metal bands that don't really have um, member names. No one really knows who they are. Um, the bands Death Circle, I have heard of, Void Prayer, um, Nigrum Ignis Curculi, maybe, um, and Obscuratitum, if I'm pronouncing that right, probably not. Um, but all the bands I've listened to, Sephiric Knight's my favorite. Um, just dark, lo-fi black metal. Um, a little bit of keyboards here and there, I think, way buried in the mix, but, um, overall, as far as one-man black metal goes, um, it usually takes a lot to, uh, impress me. And Sulfuric Knight did upon first listen on Bandcamp, and I uh, it was an immediate buy for me. Again, I don't think I could you could get this uh, from their site. You had to I had to pay uh, a lot for overseas shipping, I think, but it was very fast. So I'll link that below. Sulfuric Knight. Um, next they also sent a cool sticker. I believe that was from Sulfuric Knight. So shout out for the marketing. Um, next up, we're going to talk about, let's see, we're going to talk about Elegiac. Apparently, this is a band from America I've never heard of and has a multitude of full lengths out. Um, I believe this one is... I'm trying to remember which release this is. I think this is Vampiric Oddenism, but um, this came out 
Let me check just to make sure which one this is. Pause. Next up, we're going to talk about um, what seems like probably the 100th. I always say that. That's not nice. It's funny, though. Maybe the 8th full length from Elegiac. Um, this is Father of Death. Uh, there aren't many of these left. I got the clear uh, cassette version with some... You can see my eyes in there, maybe. If I do it just right. Sorry. Anyway. Um... One Man, again, Black Metal Band. Seems like a lot of these releases have been One Man Black Metal Band. I believe he is housed in New York um, now. Um, this one, to me, was... Um, I don't want to say it was a tough listen, but uh, I, I listened to a couple of songs on Bandcamp, and, and it pulled me in. Some of the other songs on it were just not quite as catchy to me. Um, it felt a little disjointed, but he's been around since 2014. Um, this came out on, I can't remember what record label, of course. Um, but it's good stuff. Um, for one man black metal, it's just very disjointed. I may have to give this uh, a few other listens. Again, it's got that tremolo picking, um, kind of hazy-ish production. Uh, the cover is really cheesy. I mean, it must should have called this title this video "Cheesy Album Covers" because this is him, uh, just in a some kind of weird garb. Uh, but it wasn't enough to scare me off. So um, I'm not. I don't want to say this is money well spent yet. I'm still absorbing this one. I usually hold off on talking about albums until I fully absorb them. But um, so I may readdress this one at a future date. But so far, it's not really pulling me in, but I will link below. You guys can check it out for yourself um, if you're into the one metal, one man black metal scene. Um, next up, the last cassette I'm going to talk about today, I think. Um, yeah. Uh, this is an EP by a band I heard about on... It may have been a random Bandcamp email um, that I got. Uh, this is Holy Arrow with o o Oath of Obedience 2. Uh, this is an EP. The cover, if you have this in another format, you may note the cover on the cassette looks different. Um, the CD and album, I believe they have an LP version, has a nice painting on the front and looks a lot different. Uh, but this is Chinese black metal. Uh, a lot of the lyrical themes um, tie around like Ming's Dynasty and the, uh, the soldiers that that fought. Um, you can see here there's a lot of Chinese that I, I don't read Chinese, um, but there's a picture of the band. Um, this is their second EP. Um, they had Oath of Allegiance, a uh, full length that came out in 2016 that I'm not overly familiar with. Um, so this is my first um, Holy Arrow release or um, purchase. Came out last year, 2020. Um, it's very... It's, it's black metal, but it has a lot of um, catchy, like, whoa, whoa, whoa choruses, which it, it kind of ties into that whole theme of the Ming's dynasty and the, the soldiers going into war. Um, I don't like using the term war metal. I know I've probably used it in the past. Um, but it's got kind of that black metal mixed with some of that um, warish metal I, I don't know how else to describe it, but you feel like the band was there with the um, the lyric uh, with the, the soldiers um, going into battle. You can almost hear the soldiers listening to, to Holy Arrow as they were going into battle. Um, so it tells me that they've really taken the the lyrics and the theme into heart. Um, so highly recommend checking out Holy Arrow. Um, last but not least, this was a cool package I got um, from Time to Kill Records. Um, this is kind of a burn without opening biohazard bag. Uh, this is a release 
that I had my eye on for a while. Well, I first when I first heard about it, I uh, immediately said I need to buy this. And unfortunately, every format it came out in was sold out already. And I think they're going to keep uh, releasing this. Sorry, there's a lot of shit here. Um, they're going to keep releasing this until people quit buying it. Um, this is the bag. Um, it came in. Um, the album is Tropical Sun by Fulci. Uh, I have heard other people talk about this release. This is uh, the version that came in the, the cool bag. It has a yellow case. You can probably see that pretty well. Um, Fulci is a band named after Lucio Fulci, uh, who is an uh, Italian horror film director. Um, I kept the hype sticker. You can see there. This is the Sun Edition. Um, which has all lyrics based on the movie um, Zombie 2. I believe I heard some others talk about this recently, and for the life of me, I can't remember who did. Um, but uh, the inside is, is cool. It's got all the cool uh, lyrics, the little rated R <coughs> down here. But in addition to the CD, um, I got a Fulci pin. Um, uh, Time to Kill Records pin. Um, this, I don't know what the fuck this is for. I wonder if all this stuff is supposed to be tied together. Um, I got a Fulci um, Death by Metal um, sticker. Time to Kill Records sticker. Fulci yellow transparent or uh, fluorescent sticker. Um, I got this little insert that talks about Fulci. And then I got a Death by Metal uh, from Time to Kill Records. Uh, it's kind of like this huge poster booklet. And it's numbered out of 999. And if you open it up, it's like a huge fucking poster. Um, I can't even probably show you the whole thing. <laughs> but it, no. they pack it pretty tight try to show you everything without ripping it. Um, it's got bits and pieces of the movies in here, pictures of the band. Uh, it's hard to show you everything because this is so big. Uh, that's what she said. And uh, it's just a really cool release. I like it when bands take, or bands and maybe labels, probably more so, um, take the time to put together a, a cool release like this. I'm not going to try to fold that back up while you're watching me. Um, but the music itself is... Every song on here is catchy. Uh, if you like early Cannibal Corpse, it's probably the best point of reference I could give you. Um, but you will be spinning this album from start to finish over and over and over again nonstop. Um, they recently re-released... Um, or have a pre-order for their full length from 2015 called um, Opening the Hell Gates. I pre-ordered that immediately. Um, these guys are from Italy. It's just solid, riffy, catchy um, horror movie black uh, death metal. Um, I, I've listened to this album no less than 20 or 30 times probably in the last a month or two, and I, I just can't stop um, listening to it. So, if you are so inclined, I will link it below. I don't know if this is sold out yet or not, um, but do your ears a favor and check out Tropical Sun by uh, Fulci. I don't think you will be disappointed in the slightest. So that's it for this huge update. I've got another batch of stuff over here to check out. Vinyl back there. And I've got more stuff on the way. And then I'm probably going to be holding off for a while. I did pre-order that Dark Throne box set against my better judgment. I feel like I'm going to be disappointed. So if you were on the fence about it, I'll do an unboxing. Um, and then you guys can decide if it's worth the money. I also ordered a Creator box set, the Noise Records era. Um, there's a reissue going out. Um, or coming out in April, I believe. It's March or April. Pre-ordered that. Um, then I got a bunch of other random shit um, on the way, so be on the lookout for all those. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing some vault stuff next. I need to get through all these CDs 
behind me and uh, start getting rid of uh, a few things I don't listen to anymore. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, please like, subscribe, share, dislike, whatever you want. Um, the channel, as I said, has over 100 subscribers now. There's there's even more contests out there now, and I, I, I think the contests are great. I just don't want to flood the, the market with uh, the heavy contests. Um, I can't keep up with, with them. I, I want to enter them all. But. So I will be doing a contest at some point. I might have 200 subscribers by then. If so, so be it. I'm not in a hurry. Um, I'm not going anywhere. So um, again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you find some new music to check out. Um, if there's anything from this list you think I should check out from these bands that I haven't yet, since a lot of them are the newest release, um, let me know if I should go back and check out any of their earlier works, and I will do so. So thanks, guys. Have a good one.